Thank you, Dr. Morton. Uh, you wanted to change it up from bleeding, so if you all reach <laughs> under your seats, there's a scratch and sniff paper. Um, and we'll get started. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank the program committee for uh, inviting us, uh, and uh, I, I want to just start from the baseline. I got—I'm uh, a member of OAC, and I'm a sleeve gastrectomy patient. I got asked to write for the Patient Magazine, the Your Weight Matters Magazine, several years ago about this, and um, it's been one of their most highly downloaded uh, articles in general. So this is something that patients care about. It may not be uh, one of the most uh, profound metrics, um, but in terms of quality of life. Um, um, Business of Galley, I'm oh, sorry, um, conflict of interest. Uh, my partner, Dr. Cottam, is our uh, research um, leader, and, and we got an unrestricted uh, education grant from Parthenon that, that uh, is the manufacturer of Devrom. Uh, I'd like to thank our research team. Um, so, um, bottom line is that business of Galley has been studied mostly in ostomates, uh, and that's where it was developed uh, in the uh, 50s and 60s. Um, it's FDA approved and over the counter. It's never really been studied extensively um, in bariatric surgery, but uh, a lot of patients do have that complaint. They tend not to talk to their physician about it. It's one of those, uh, again, sort of unmeasured uh, and, and uh, underappreciated. So um, since we and our group are doing uh, more um, duodenal switch with a loop, uh, format and we do not bypass 90% of the small intestine, we're bypassing more like 60% of the small intestine. We were curious, first of all, what the baseline was for this complaint because it has been a major obstacle for uh, surgeons undertaking duodenal switch uh, and we're trying to look at the various barriers as we look at, at the uh, uh, limitations of gastric bypass. So we want to get a baseline study on this and, and focus on uh, patient perception quality of life. Uh, and so we found a validated tool. Um, and um, just uh, again to review, the loop duodenal switch basically is an interrupted omega loop duodenal switch. You just don't <coughs> complete the last step. You don't go divide the afferent limb uh, from the just above the pylorus, and you don't go create then an ilio ileostomy. So you're only really short circuiting, not doing the ru and y portion of it. Um, so we think, uh, uh, and it's been shown uh, through um, researchers in Spain that there is less malabsorption. So Theoretically, there should be a little less uh, issue with um, um, uh, malodorous uh, change. Um, so um, Devrom is the uh, um, trade name for bismuth <coughs> subgallate. Uh, it acts like other bismuth compounds uh, with mechanism it binds into uh, uh, mainly bacterial uh, um, um, metabolism uh, in the colon. So it's really, it really is an intestinal deodorant. Now, I think long-term, we don't have any study yet on the microbiome, uh, but it's, it's generally uh, studied to be harmless at this point. Um, so our aim was just to uh, assess uh, business of Gallate on quality of life. Uh, oh, and I wanted to, I, that picture was there. Um, we used a capsule form, not the chewable form, um, because that was the easiest to do a placebo uh, with. I was talking to Dr. Morton, and it's nice to be able to do a placebo randomized uh, double-blinded trial, and the bad side is it's not exactly the most elegant uh, or, um, situation. So um, we excluded patients who were in their first six months after surgery because we know there is more digestive uh, and diet adaptation going on. We, we kept uh, younger patients out. Um, we did want patients who at least complained or noticed an odor issue so that we could study the right group, and then uh, we um, did exclude patients who had an active gastrointestinal infection, I think f uh, five, six, and seven here. We don't want people who are already on confounding medications, uh, and we didn't want anybody uh, who had other investigational issues going on. So they filled out a baseline questionnaire, um, and we did not analyze this both ways. Um, we, they, it, was, it varied as to who was in which group first. That was randomized. Um, and we haven't done that analysis backwards, but there was a one-week washout period uh, after which uh, people filled out their a third uh, questionnaire after their second round, um, and everybody was blinded. And in fact, uh, the surgeons really didn't do the um, uh, recruitment of the patients. That was our research team, so we tried not to skew anything that way. Um, the um, GI-related quality of life questionnaire, uh, we added four additional questions to that um, for our analysis because this was fairly general and they were 
scored zero to four. You can see our, uh, we were powered uh, for 30 patients. We ended up recruiting 36, uh, and then with our actual analysis, we were down to, to 29 um, with noncompliance and dropouts. Um, fairly matched for our duodenal switch population, a little more, uh, more female, but uh, higher male percentage than you see in like the sleeve literature. So this is the um, take home here uh, in terms of the digestive portion of the quality of life uh, component. There was significant uh, change between pretreatment and post-treatment post and also improvement in the overall quality of life. Um, and then um, with our four additional questions that were not part of that uh, validated questionnaire, we also had uh, significant change. Uh, and I, I skipped through the slide a little quickly, but um, most of these patients had uh, complaints of all the time or very frequent uh, odor issues. And this drop of a uh, point and a half to two points really takes them down to occasional or rare. I mean, it's a pretty big change in, you know, the, the number doesn't really tell the whole story, but the number does definitely give us uh, guidance uh, and is significant. So then uh, the ANOVA test between um, the placebo um, was um, notable, also tending towards significance also for placebo, but not statistically significant. Uh, and that's, uh, I'm sorry, there's the ANOVA for all three. Um, so in conclusion, uh, the scores on the validated test were significant with business of gallate treatment compared to pretreatment uh, and significant improvement in overall quality of life. Um, and then uh, further studies are needed to validate this, but I think it's a good start. Uh, and it was a, a fairly simple study to design and implement. I think you might find patients are interested in um, having access to this tool.